With SmartDocs, you can customize quotes, proposals, and contracts in minutes. Upload and send PDFs, and use existing tools from Google and Microsoft to share templates across your team. Easily and securely send in request signatures while tracking the status within a deal, so you never miss the chance to strike when the deal is hot. So if you're ready to get smart about creating and managing your team's documents, then keep watching. From the pipeline view, you'll open the details view of your selected deal. From here, you go to the Documents tab. If you're on the Professional or Enterprise plans, you already have access to SmartDocs. And if you're on the Essential or Advanced plans, you can now purchase the SmartDocs add-on, which gives you access to all the tools and features in SmartDocs without having to change your plan. If this is your first time using SmartDocs, you'll see an option to take a tour of the feature. For now, we'll skip this, but you can always access it from the Learn More menu here. Back in the document step, you'll see two options. The first allows you to upload a document from your device. The second allows you to connect your cloud storage. Let's start with the first option. From your device, you'll choose a PDF file. You'll then be taken here where you can edit the title and define the category of your file. Since we're working from an existing PDF, we can send but can't edit other parts of it. You can, however, choose from several options in the document category menu. For this document, we'll change the category from uncategorized to other, and we would highly recommend categorizing all your documents into one of these categories, as this will help you keep track of what type of documents you're sending to which customers. Now that we've got all of this buttoned up, we can go ahead and share. On this menu, we can choose to generate a link, request signatures, or download our document as a PDF. For now, we'll choose the first option. Generating the link will take us to the share link window where we can copy the link to send as we'd like. And down here is the option to track the use for this document. Depending on your preference, you can receive a notification when a document is viewed the first time, every time, or not at all. And here you'll see the option to remove the Pipedrive logo in your documents. This can only be enabled by an admin user, and we'll talk more about that later. For now, let's go ahead and share our link. Once your recipient receives the link, they'll choose whether or not they'd like to grant permission to store cookies and notify you, the sender, when the document has been opened. If they agree, they'll then be able to view the file and download a version of their own, and you will have the ability to see directly from a deal when your recipient has viewed your document so you know exactly when to move forward with the deal. Now that we've sent a document from our device, let's try creating a document connected to our cloud storage. Back in our Deal Details, we'll click the Documents tab once again. From here, we'll select Connect Cloud Storage and choose from an existing account or a new one. Since we already have an account with Google, we'll use that. But if you have a Microsoft OneDrive or a SharePoint account, you can use that as well. From here, we'll connect our account and choose where we want to store our documents. You can choose to use a personal account or if you have a shared company account and access to team folders, a shared drive. For this example, we'll go with a shared drive. Shared drives are great for setting up templates and sharing documents across teams. But if you don't have one, no worries. You can still select your personal drive and create templates and documents just as easily. From here, let's create a new document. This will take us to the Edit Document screen, where just like with our PDF, we can see the document title and document category. But now you'll notice that we have a list of pipe drive fields. We'll use these to autofill our documents. By default, any new document we create will have the deal name plus the current date, plus the current time as the title. But let's say we want to change this. We can delete the existing text and copy and paste any field from our list here. For this, we'll go with the field deal title. Let's add the word proposal at the end of our field. And now our title has been changed. Just to note that changing a document's title without including a selected pipe drive field won't actually save that change. A pipe drive field must exist within a title before any other adjustments will be saved. Next is our document categories, which we're already familiar with. For this example, we'll be creating a proposal. Now let's get into the body of our document. You can draft your text here or copy and paste from an existing text. We'll then make some edits and copy and paste any pipe drive fields that we want to use here. If the fields you're including are available in a specific deal, SmartDocs will autofill these fields for you. This includes any custom fields attached to a deal. And to help you all even more, the fields listed here will only show those that are available in your deal, so you don't have to worry about accidentally selecting fields that you don't have information for. Now that we've created our document and made all the desired edits, we can now share it. From here we have our familiar share options. This time we'll choose Request Signatures.
Here you can add signers and set a signing order. After we've confirmed that the contact info is correct, we'll click Next and take a look at additional signer fields. The new features in SmartDocs give you the ability to add additional fields such as initials, checkboxes, or text fields for additional information. Perhaps billing or bank details, or just comments. You can drag and drop those fields anywhere inside the document. Set required fields to make sure that no information is missed. We're all set to send the document with e-signature requests. Back in our deal, we can now see that our proposal status has been changed. We can also see which document we've sent and the number of our tracked views and signature requests. From here, we also have the option to edit our document and share through any of the options we saw in the Edit Document screen. We can even choose to share, open, or delete a specific version of a document. For our prospect, we'll receive an email link like this, which asks them to review and sign. Once they've clicked on the link, they'll be asked to give permission and then add their signature. After signing, they'll be emailed an authentication code to confirm, and once this code has been verified, their signature will be added, and you'll once again be able to see the updated status and number of signatures right from your deal. By selecting your specific document version and clicking on View Signers, you can get even more information about which recipients have viewed and signed, along with the signature time and status. You can even send a reminder to a signer in case they haven't viewed or signed your document. And in the Audit Trail tab, you can view the signing history by the time and action type and name of each signer. Now you and your signers will be able to download the original and signed copy of your document and everyone will literally be on the same page. Now that you know how to edit and share documents from your device and cloud storage, let's try creating a template. Setting up templates is a convenient and easy way to save time on account management. Under the Documents tab, we'll select Templates. From here, we'll create a new document. In this Edit Template screen, we now have two options, one to configure and one to grant permissions, just like before. We'll select a field from our document title and choose a document category. Under the Configure tab, we'll choose the fields we want to populate the body of our document. And here in the Permissions step, we'll select which users from our team will have access to this template and which we'll be able to use or edit it. With that, we can now use this template to create documents across our entire team. Another option is to use an existing Google Doc, Google Slides, or a Google Sheets template and save it to the drive connected to your Smart Docs. So whichever template creation option you choose, all the tools you need are easily accessible from your Pipedrive account. Now finally, let's touch on some of the settings you can customize with Smart Docs both for yourself and your team. Here, you'll see your personal account settings where you can connect or disconnect a cloud account and change your storage location if needed. And over here in the Company Settings tab, you'll see several options which can apply to your entire team. You have the option to change your document storage settings and the option to add a company domain for all users. You also have the option to remove the Pipedrive logo and clear unpopulated fields from your documents if you'd like. You can even set permissions for which users can create SmartDocs templates. So, no matter how small or large your team, you can customize a secure and convenient solution that works best. SmartDocs users can now use DocuSign to create and manage e-signatures. With this integration, you can create DocuSign envelopes and get the status of those envelopes right in Pipedrive. So if you need a more advanced solution for your signing process, we've got you covered. With that, thanks for sticking with us on this journey through SmartDocs.